All right, guys, as you can see, I was able to get down into the bush for these blowdowns. There's several of them here. Today, we're gonna start hauling some of this home. There's several of them here. So as I cut, I can actually move closer to these other trees. Let me give you a good look at them. So we got this one here, it wise off up there. So a lot of that stuff is smaller and manageable with without getting too close to it. The next one there is fairly large. Uh, and as well as that next one there. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there's one up in the bush there that I can just roll down that hill. But I'm pretty sure I can get the truck in this area once I get this stuff cut up. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So stick with me, we'll get right to it. All right, there is a slight danger here with these two trees that are bent over. This one here, the bigger one, is definitely broke off, not alive. The smaller one that's underneath that is still, still has leaves up here. So there's no leaves down here. So if I were to top this, that's gonna stand up a little bit. It's not gonna stand up too much because it's probably been bent over way too long. But uh, I'm probably gonna start bucking somewhere around here because it starts getting pretty squirrely up there, at least on this stem. The other stem, I'll probably start somewhere over in here and work my way back to where these two are under this tree and see how it goes. So, yeah man, let me get out the 500i and uh, we'll commence to cutting into this stuff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'll get in the truck, see how much more room I have, and I'll start working on that other big one back there. We'll see. So I gotta figure out how to get the rest of that into here. So I'm gonna load it up as best as I can and we'll come back and see how I did. Well, there we go guys. The truck is full. All the rounds are picked up. I'll get this one home and we'll come back for that other big sucker right there. So let me get this home. I don't know if I'll film the unloading but uh, definitely film cutting up this big sucker. So see you in a bit. All right guys, we made it back down in here. We got this big sucker to cut up here and possibly have to noodle some to get it in the truck, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. I'm not sure if there's a lot of weight on the top up there. So I gotta get something to shove underneath here. So if it doesn't wanna fall down, it doesn't so I can keep it off the ground and it'll be e that much easier to cut. All right, now we can cut it off up here and we'll be good to go. up there but it is just suspended by itself so yeah I'll get this easy stuff out the way instead of fighting through the mess that's up there so let me go get the marking stick my hearing protection get some tunes going and uh, get out of here because there's some weather moving in snow sleet freezing rain and then changing over to rain it's actually starting to snow right now, so I need to get my butt moving. <laughs>
definitely starting to snow. I need to get this crap loaded and get out of here. All right, I'm gonna load this one and then I'll come back when it's all loaded up. There you go, guys. All filled up, not totally full, but I'm comfortable with how it looks. Time to get it back to the house, so I'll see you there. All right, guys, as you can see, made it back maybe I can open this maybe not all right well I guess I gotta get this one unjammed and then open the tailgate let's try that no wow Still all jammed up. Let's try that. There we go. Tight fit. Tight fit, fellas. Nineteen big rounds. That's what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, that's the other load of hickory all bucked up, and basically where that little gap is to here is what I got today from the roadside. Whew. Two decent loads. Yes, it's a little bit of work, but. It's well worth it, for sure. Sam and I got the trailer emptied from the last time we were splitting. And trailer set back up. I'm gonna back the truck up to it, get it hooked up after this video, so I can get into splitting that stuff there. I wish I could make one more trip down there today, but with this weather moving in, I don't want to chance it. I got plenty to do here for now, so the next time I'm down at the roadside, I'll definitely bring you guys back along and do that. So anyway, guys, if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, tell one of your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.